guard, the tax scam cometh. Highway to Hell, people, the 2012 made-for-DVD recut of 2009's El Dorado, produced, written, directed, starring, oh god, one Richard Driscoll. Peter O'Toole lethargically narrates the story of Blues Brothers tribute band, the Jews Brothers, as they travel to the mystical western town of El Dorado to perform for a bunch of backwards cannibals. Now, who cares about the rest of the story, right? The film itself sure as fuck doesn't. Best summed up as an esoteric parody montage of several cult films and blockbusters of the time, the more interesting story of Highway to Hell, for you, me, and the HMRC, is the one that took place behind the scenes. Richard Driscoll served three years in prison from 2013 to 2016 for conspiring to claim £1.5 million of VAT refunds in connection with the El Dorado production, as well as two other wannabe blockbusters he was working on. Elements of the scam involved claiming that David Carradine was paid more than £400,000 for 13 days filming, even though he had died two weeks earlier to the reported date. Great stuff. So, all said and done, what does the final product look like? At least in this version. It's shit. It's really, really shit. You know, it's films like Highway to Hell that make me question what I am doing with my life. Well, that and keeping this channel alive. It is the most starfuckiest fest that I've ever starfucked seen. With an esoteric cast of any name Driscoll could get his hands on, collectively given the most stilted, uninspired performances of their respective careers, or once respected, that is. It seems that with the exception of Rick Mile and Driscoll himself, who takes the star lead, of course, everyone, understandably, appears as unable to give less of a fuck as possible. The technical quality of the film is also dog shit, as you have probably already guessed. A murky colour palette of grey, green and brown sprays over the poorly decorated plywood sets and TV soap lighting as well as chroma keying and CGI work that manages to be both sparing and intrusive, obviously used to patch up scenes that Driscoll either could not be bothered to give appropriate coverage to, or just did not get his bogus claims repaid quick enough so that he could plug in the holes. And we haven't even gotten to the musical set pieces of this tax rebate cancer, including one sequence with bikers that is so abysmally choreographed that you could visibly see the awkward tension expanding within the faces of the actors. Ricky Gervais could only wish he was able to write a more tangible example of performative despair. And of course, every song is lip-synced by someone else, notably the pissed-up patrons of Cornwall's Working Men's Club, if rumours are to be believed. And uh, that is it. As there's no story, you can't say much about Highway to Hell without doing a scene-by-scene -scene description, which someone else can fucking do. This film is the vanity project to end them all. Richard Driscoll is undoubtedly the Tiger King of British Genoir filmmaking, an all-consuming egoist that sees logic, colleagues, and even the law itself as mere adversaries to his ambition. And as the result of this Alamo, or Waco approach to film production, created what is rightfully considered one of the worst unquote British films ever made. And furthermore, in my opinion, Driscoll himself possesses the worst filmography of any British film director that I have ever come across. Highway to Hell is a narcissistic nightmare that could have only been stolen into existence. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Sorority House Massacre.